Hey everybody. I had my movers come today. My possessions got picked up on October 30th and today is December 13th. That is precisely six weeks since my possessions and I have been <laughs> separated and I felt sort of free <laughs> uh, living here with very minimal stuff until today and I was reminded of all the possessions that I have and all the unpacking I have to do and rather than feeling a sigh, a sigh of relief, <laughs> I just feel like crying, putting my head down and crying because I have so much unpacking to do and I am never going to do this again. <laughs> oh, I tell you. So I thought I would just take you on a little tour. A lot of you have been wanting to see my house. This is not how it's going to look once I get things situated, but I'll take you on a little tour and show you just how much stuff I have. I am starting in the very back of my kitchen. My back is up against the countertop. There's my hand. And here is where I've been working while waiting for my stuff. I've got a bunch of, I just bought some Christmas glasses at Dollar Tree yesterday. These are $1 Christmas glasses. Uh, I'll just start with this one piece. They could have easily put a quilt around this. This was brand new, and but I didn't have the box. I asked them to wrap it in a quilt. They put a little plastic on the top and the whole bottom is scratched and dented. So I'm not happy about that. This uh, carton is crushed and there's china in there, so that will be interesting. And I've just got boxes and boxes and boxes because I had a lot of stuff in a five by 13 storage unit. Now my wash and dryer is supposed to go in behind there on the 17th, but that will depend a lot upon how much of this I can get done this week. There's that cutting board uh, thing I put together for my apartment. Just more and more and more boxes. Somewhere in these boxes are my Christmas ornaments. So my tree waits patiently. I have my sculpture I made in college back there. Boxes. This is my grandmother's oak library table. We can go into all of this detail later when my house looks nice. There's Lyndon. Hi, Lyndon. Hey, Lyndon. Lyndon, say hi. Yeah, she's uh, she's uh, less than enthused about the, the five movers that stampeded into my place today. Now, here is my mother's sofa from 1967, and they took the legs off. Okay, I get it. It's easier to pack. I learned about storing things. When they store things, they have to take all the legs off and, and make things smaller, so... There were only three screws for this leg, and we couldn't get the legs properly back on, so that has to be repaired. Uh, here's a whole lot of stuff that I didn't know exactly where to put because I didn't have any more room in the rooms where they needed to be. This fan should not be on. I don't know why it's, that's on, uh, and I was gonna turn the lights on in here. There we go. Now we can see a little bit better. But I've got boxes upon boxes and art upon art. Here's some art. These are the glass coffee tables and uh, other glass things that hopefully did not get broken. I've got a nice fire going right now and uh, I got my fireplace tools from California. This is the uh, sunroom that was sort of together before. These are very heavy 
painted panels that my brother gave me. It's going to take at least two people to hang those. My plants arrived from my friend and they got here two days ago, a, a day before yesterday. And I last night I got them all watered and fed and they look so much better today. I'm going to have to get a light set up because even though it's a sunroom, there's my citronella. It looked like a million bucks when it left. It looks like about $10 right now. Um, even though this, this is the sunroom, the, the sun does not blast into this room. So I will have to have a light. Okay, we go in here. And this is a bathroom to the left. This is the guest bathroom which got used a few times today, and I need to clean that. And this is a bedroom. This is probably going to be my bedroom. Um, but as you can see, I also had to put all the art down here because most of it will hang down here, and I didn't want to be storing it upstairs. So you can see I have so very much work to do. It will take months to completely get all this. It took a long time to pack it as well. This hallway continues. Uh, this is actually the master bedroom, but I am making this my office because you may have noticed in this guest smaller bathroom uh, bedroom that there's only one little window and it's without the light, it's very dark in here. And who would want to work for hours every day in that room when you could work in here where there are two big windows and it's larger and I have so much stuff that I really don't have a choice. It had to be this way. So that desk was completely taken apart. These were completely taken apart and I have to decide where the shelves go. So they just put on the tops and bottoms. I have no idea where the drawers to this cart are. And of course, I don't know where, I don't know where the pins are for these shelves. And um, I sure hope I don't have to go buy some of those. So the shelves are here, but I don't know where the pins are. These are boxes and boxes and boxes of files and things. Now, this is the master bathroom, which I'll just give you a slight peek. I've got some boxes in there. And right now I'm gonna be using this, I believe. These are way too heavy to put, uh, to take upstairs or anything like that. So. They're going to go in here and I'm just going to keep this as an office closet and I have the same thing over here, which I don't need to show you because it's kind of messy, uh, clothes closet in here. And then in this bathroom, you have one little sink. I'm going to probably put a bathtub in there at some point um, because I have to be able to, I have to be able to have a hot bath and I need one tonight. Okay, so those are the rooms in here. I'm gonna take a quick, oh, I'll just give you a little peek out the front because I got my little garland up and got it lit last night on my front porch. And there you will see the cozy corner table and chairs. They probably won't stay there because I have ordered a cedar swing and Adirondack chairs. So I'm going upstairs, I have a nice wide staircase here. And there's my mother's cedar chest. Probably won't stay there. That is missing a leg off the bottom, which I have. This is the uh, upstairs guest bedroom, which I think I'll leave this way. I'm still really uncertain as to what I'm going to do where, because this happens to be 
Ah, uh, the way they, this is laid out up here is very inexplicable. But you have the two dormer windows. There's not a whole lot you can put back in there. Maybe a dresser, but that's about it. Then I've got a nice big closet here, but this connects to the attic, which is unfinished, and no insulation on the roof. Nice big storage, but it's cold. And there are a lot of dead ladybugs in there. And maybe we'll give you a, more of a tour of that later. So, uh, this, this has a nice little thing on the wall. It says, it's painted here. It says, choose joy. Uh, I'm going to try to do that tonight. I've got two chairs here. Actually, one goes in here and one goes in the other bedroom. This is a four bedroom house. I'm going to be taking probably two bedrooms for my office. Although this could be my sewing slash knitting slash meditation. I'm not sure what this room is going to be because the way it's laid out is so strange. You have a door there and you have a door there and it's very hard to put a bed anywhere except maybe a twin bed. In here, this is a bonus room that is the ceiling is lower because the roof is lower because this is over the top of my office and the two wings of the house have lower roofs. So whereas this might be a nice office because it's brighter, it's, um, it's hard to get to and, and I have way too much heavy stuff to bring all the way up here. So that won't happen. Okay, so you've seen my house and I have a little, they sort of use this hallway to, to get to that room instead of this being a hallway they put a little galley bathroom in here so got a little guest bathroom in here that oh, got to get cleaned up so there you have the tour and let's just go back downstairs these stairs are wood i believe this floor is something called engineered wood. At first I thought, oh, why did they take out the hardwood floor? Because I love hardwood. However, all of this banging today, they would have scratched up the floor. The kitchen needs a lot of work. Oh, I'll take you to see my garage. Kind of got this organized a little bit before the onslaught today. I mean, it was just like all of a sudden five people were here and I was just directing traffic. I hope I got everything. Okay, so this is, as you know, my car. And these things are going to live out here somehow or other. And this is my unit that I put together for my apartment kitchen, except when they put it back together. Oh, look at this. Some things came undone and there are no screws. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Okay. These are wardrobes. These have some clothes from the... Uh, Come here, where you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you go. These have been in storage for decades. Um, some of the clothes I made. Oh yeah, I made all those. Some of the clothes I made and some of the clothes are vintage 80s and 70s clothes. Um, they're supposed to be on wheels, but I don't know where the wheels are. So here's my little wagon. Remember my garden wagon? And I've got some garden things in these boxes over here. This is China. I'm not sure why China wound up. Oh, I know why, because it was in the refrigerator. Well, let's hope it doesn't get broken. They should have just taped it and left it in there. Those were 
hundred year old antique engraved champagne glasses or something. Oh well. There's Lyndon. Hi Lyndon. Can you say hi to everybody? Tell them how you feel about the new house. Are you glad you're not moving anymore? She goes, I'm out of here. There's just one thing I wanted to show you outside. Daryl, our late bloomer friend, made me a, a bird house out of a gourd. It's backlit. It's hard to see. Oh, see how cute that is? I love it. Get a better look at it later. And remember my bird bath from Late Bloomer Garden 1.0? Yes, I brought it with me. It seriously needs a good cleaning though. Wow. Well, here we are on a chilly gray afternoon. It's only about, it's not even three o'clock. Okay. Now I'm grabbing my tea and we'll sit down for a chat. So this is my first fireside chat from Late Bloomer Garden 2.0 Homestead. Now, I just wanted to respond to a few comments that I've had, uh, which I've appreciated. And a lot of people wanted me to make leaf mold out of all the leaves that were in my yard, but it was too much. And they, when you hire a service, they don't do that. They don't take the time to sweep them up and put them in a bag and put them someplace else. You know, they have a job to get done and the way they do it is to grind them up. Now, those little ground up particles help the soil around my maple trees. So I'm not too worried about that. And I do have a few more leaves still falling. And so I plan to save those. I've also been recommended to get a wood chipper and I think that's a really good idea, so I plan to get one of those. And I would love to get just an electric one that's easy to start because, you know, I just <laughs> have this memory of growing up and my father and even me sometimes pulling that chain trying to get that lawn, gas lawnmower to start. I'd rather not have to go through that, but the electric ones don't have the power of some of the really good wood chippers that, you know, can take the larger branches. So I have to decide on that. And I was recommended by, I think Hillary recommended that I get snake boots or no, wait, maybe that was someone else. I'm sorry. I just glanced at the comments this morning very quickly. After my first walk, I hope you've seen that video, my first walk in the woods, and I have a lot of woods. Um, I am going to get the snake chaps. I've already been looking at those online. And there's one that fits men or women, and it just pulls on, no snaps. And I think I'll probably wind up with those. I also have to get some boots because the only pair of shoes I have right now that don't hurt my feet are these very thin shoes from New Balance that I bought right after the lockdown started. And they're very thin and uh, a snake bite would go through them very easily. <laughs> So I do want to walk in my woods. I don't give the I don't want to give the impression that I don't like walking in the woods. I adore walking in the woods. I just don't want to see a snake <laughs> while I'm doing it. So Daryl has promised to create a walking path for me in my woods um, when he has time. 
So hopefully that, ha that can happen uh, during the winter when you can see through there. And uh, let's see, what other great suggestions have I had? Oh, there've been so many. So I can, when I have a chance uh, to get internet, I will make sure to give everybody a shout out that's had some great ideas for me. Oh, that's good. There was something called Indian Guides that my sons were both in before they got into Boy Scouts. And um, that cup is says leader on it. And it's from uh, the Indian Guide troop and, and they used to go to Catalina. And believe it or not, I was in uh, LA for 32 years and I never took the boat to Catalina. My sons were there several times. Living Traditions Homestead had recommended Nomad for internet service. As you probably know, I have a problem with that. Based on that recommendation, which a number of my subscribers had seen and they told me, I immediately called that day. I ordered their service only to find out there are no um, AT&T or Verizon towers near me. We set up the Nomad and it didn't work with AT&T or Verizon. So I was recommended that I should cancel that and um, try to figure something else out. Um, I have help coming tomorrow, which obviously you can tell that I need. And I don't know how much we can get done in three or four hours, but we're gonna get, give it a shot. I just, I'm so grateful that all of you are watching my journey and you're probably gonna see me sound a little, you're probably going to hear me sounding a little bit more and more Southern as I am here because since I'm from Tennessee originally, it was an effort when I first went to New York as an actor, it was an effort for me to get rid of, you never get rid of, but you, you suppress your native accent. And so it was a real effort for me to, to make a very generic uh, American accent. And now that I'll be back here and all the people that are coming and working for me and helping me here have been very, have very Southern accents. So <laughs> you may hear that in my voice as we go along. But today I was just thinking, what have I done? I mean, it just hit me. When they were here, I mean, it was just like, they're firing off numbers at me and I'm telling them where to put things and I don't know where to put things. And so you really have to have things in your house and to try to imagine how it's all going to be arranged. I mean, when you have the focal point as your fi your fireplace is your focal point, especially in winter, uh, you you want your furniture to be facing the fireplace. Um, but beyond that, I don't know where anything is going to go. <laughs> uh, all I know is I have company coming. My son and fiance are coming on the 25th for Christmas, and I would like to get this a little bit more organized. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, and I look forward to coming to you again very, very soon. God bless. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.